Hey guys, um, yeah, I called this up uh, Bob Ranch video again, which is um, part four of my um, E3 analysis. But this is going to be more of like what um, the industry needs to do in order for us to prevent itself from another video game crash here. Um, yeah, quite frankly, eh, E3 2015, I mean. Yes, I give a lot of credit to um, Bethesda this year because they're the only ones that have had, had a very good show. Um, they went back to its roots and, provide, and took the um, classic Doom franchise and uh, pretty much expanded out of here. Um, Rareware, um, that's the only good thing about Microsoft's show this year. And I'm like, backwards compatibility, but I'm going to have to talk about what the industry needs to do um, but first my thanks of EA um, that company needs to go that uh, industry needs to go um, I know it's the same company um, that brought us great games in the 80s um, I remember having a Commodore 64 and had a bunch of truckloads of EA um, one of the things I um, remembered is um, Larry Bird versus Dr. J, which was a one-on-one -on -one basketball. Um, and there has been a countless amount of other um, good games in the Commodore 64 when, when it was known as ECA. Um, even the early 90s, um, and even through, through the 90s and early 2000s, EA was a great company. Uh, but now EA has changed, and now... They're just a company that um, doesn't, they don't care about you anymore. They All they care about is they want to purchase out the stuff. They want complete, uh, they want complete control of the industry. And um, they um, just, that, I mean, they just, you know, um, listen, EA um, has done a lot in the past five years, um, that was really burned. They, um, the Sims um, Bon Voyage um, was the first, yeah, that was the first indication where they um, messed up my PC for that sec ROM thing. They were the first company to implement online passes. Well, there were a couple of um, few things here, but they, EA has first widely adopted online passes and people were ticked off and certainly I wasn't the only one who were you know ticked off about the online passes here um, they were adopting microtransactions and $60 games um, yeah pardon because it's very buggy out here and um, even my uh, thing is ineffective against the bugs <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, I mean, I mean, EA is like Atari back in the 80s. Um, otherwise, Ubisoft this year, the games were crap. I mean, the, the show, meh. I have to say Ubisoft was um, the crap. I mean, they, um, I think what they need to do is drop the price of games to 40 bucks. And um, so people were saying, oh, it's expensive. Do you know how much, do you know how much, uh, I've had some statistics here online. A huge chunk of the $60 game goes towards publishers. I think like half the amount of, half the $60 goes to publishers. Um, about 20%, um, um, uh, um, the rest of the pie, uh, it's like towards um hardware licensing um, towards Sony, some to retailers, but a very small percentage goes towards the developer. So the people who created the game, it's getting almost nothing out of the $60 price tag that you get here. So I, that tells me how evil these corporations are becoming today. Think of Atari. These developed, I mean, I mean, when I when I talk about this thing here, these uh, um, these publishers that are out here today, I mean they practically own the um, d practically own the studios. I mean they can just they're opening up the studios, um, milk out the game, and then they fire the employees again. 
Um, and I have to say, do you did, does that does that talk in the, uh, does that talk you know um, similarities to between this and back in 1983 when Atari um, and then Activision escape Atari because of their bull crap here. Um, I, I think we really, really do need some regulations here. I mean, it need, they need to have a better chunk of the of published developers need to have a better chunk of the money um, to do it. I mean, face it. I mean, there's people out there today. They don't care about their jobs. I mean, so I have to say that EA um, and these things here, especially EA. They don't care about you. They, I mean, the people who, I mean, those people out there are kind of EA slaves who are making the game today. Um, this is, I mean, um, that's why games are rushed. EA is pushing developers to uh, crank out these games um, and then they uh, take it to the consumers. Um, to say, hey, and then, um, I have, and I think that video, uh, there was one video out there, uh, I forget what it was, but I think it was EA in a nutshell or like this here, who has the cartoons of the, like, of this, hey, the thing says, more money, more money, slams on the keyboard. Um, so he takes out this super thick of Ruckland 5 here, crop edition here, and then um, there's that one guy here. Throws it out there. That guy rushes to the game and fights for it. Fights for it. Fights for it. Says, "Yay! That thing is a 9.5 rating. Something I don't have to care about anymore." And there's that one person left over, which I think it's me nowadays. Um, Set. I think they've nailed it. I mean, EA. I don't give a crap about. It. I mean, I really don't give a crap about about you know a Battlefront. Um, Dice. Um, EA owns Dice. I mean, um, that's what they're going to do. They're they're going to milk down the Star Wars Battlefront franchise uh, like this. Nintendo is even falling into this now. I hated. Uh, I mean, at first thought, I really was excited that they make a new Metroid Prime game, and it turns out nope, it's not the Metroid Prime game I want. It's a stupid. I mean, it's. I forget what it was, but it's Metroid Prime, uh, whatever it is with the 3DS. Uh, it just doesn't look like I don't want that game. I want a Wii U Metroid, real Metroid Prime game for the Wii U. Make it like Metroid Prime 1 or 2, like the Metroid Prime Trilogy. Put it that one as a new Metroid Prime game. That is what I want. Um, and Nintendo needs to modernize, and Nintendo has a lot of catching up to do. Um, Mario Maker, folks, uh, yeah, it's hey, I can do this and this and this and that. Do you notice that there's a, there's already a lot of games out there like Game Maker, Click and Play. I've done these things before. All right. <laughs> um, I think what Nintendo should make is a Mario 3D Maker. Like, take Super Mario 64, make your own 3D levels, and, I sh and Nintendo should work on that now. Make my own Super Mario 64 games. Um, that's what it is here. Um, so, I think that, I think companies need to stop these year releases and utilize these unused, um, utilize your unused um, thing. Like, make one year... Yeah, like Ubisoft, one year make Assassin's Creed. The other one, other years make a, like, and even invent some new games, like invent some new IPs once in a while. Um, but I, the, Ubisoft should narrow down a few games um, at a time. Um, so they are more focused on what they're doing, and when, and therefore when the products come finished out, they should, um, games would be a lot better. Uh, but they're just pushing out too many stuff. We've got big companies. I mean, that's the problem with big companies. They are greedy. Um, they push their studios these ridiculous deadlines. I Probably these programmers don't get paid much money. Um, you know, that's what it is. It's what it is of gaming today. Um, it's what they're out today. 
They need to, you know, care more about their develop the people who develop the game. I have to say that at least about 40 to 50 percent of the money you paid in the store should go to store developers. Um, Sony, they can lower the, um, they can more care about what they make. I mean, they can lower the prices of the licensing fees towards what you purchase on consoles. Um, and yeah, I mean, 40 bucks, I mean, um, and you can actually and allow us to order from online from directly and like, and maybe thirty-five dollars like this here. Um, Forty, thirty dollars. I mean, at the price, I mean, um, the pricing structure as well here. Activision. All I want is Pitfall. Enough for Call of Duty. I mean, um, you got a lot of other franchises that are just so neglected. Uh, make a Pitfall game. Take a break from Call of Duty. Um, make, I mean, um, and also make something new. Um, this is, I mean, all, I mean, just, do, I think the first, and, um, doing all that first stuff now, um, like, just narrow down in a few games up here. Call of Duty one year, Pitfall the next year, um, and just go over like use your IPs that you have. If you don't, if you have so many of them, sell them. Um, like uh, let those groups of people make their own company and like give them away. I mean a, yeah, I mean a lean company only has like whatever franchises they can handle to make. Um, they need to have, com I mean, it's great. We need that they need to have more competition. I mean. Um, that's what I have to say here. Um, now, some people are saying to me, well, games are more expensive. Look, there's a lot more gamers today than there were back in 1982. Um, for instance, 150,000, 150 million consoles that we have today is, um, is not the same as 150 million consoles 10 years ago. As more and more gamers, I mean, if, if more and more gamer base, of course the sales are going to be big. So, yeah, you have more manpower making your games, but there's a lot more gamers to be pockets of here. So the return is a lot more. And, um, and if gamers that well here, I mean, um, yeah, it may cost twice. If, if there's twice as much manpower required to make a game, but there's four times the amount of people um, bought the game, um, you the companies actually make more money and yeah you can price it down to twenty dollars thirty dollars like this here because look it makes more money to make a movie than make a game so why are movies twenty thirty dollars that's the big question i mean um and the, the, the other thing is drm Look, people, are, well, pirates are going to always find a way to crack, crack it here. I mean, um, this so Durango EA, it was cracked. I mean, this so-called uncrackable, it was cracked. Same thing with Alcatraz. I mean, people found ways, the three things found ways to escape. Um, so that analog, and also the analog, also the Clinton, Clinton Correctional Facility. Um, yeah, it was 170, but you, uh, all of us. But there will be an escape route in the same in the future here. Um, so I think um, companies need to lean them down, sell out your. They need to sell out these studios if they're not using them anymore instead of shutting them down. Sell out your IPs and let other people make other money out of them. Um, and that's it. I think the. The society will be a lot better. Um, I think games will be a lot more um, diverse, um, and you know, I think gaming would be um, back into where it was back in the '90s and the millenniums there. And um, so, I think companies need to either use their IPs or lose it. Um, we don't want. A, I mean, a company like EA should not own a gazillion IPs and be greedy. Um, they need to lay off the DRM, and there, sh there are better ways to, for piracy. Um, 
The music industry is going uh, um, kind of going fine right now, except that it's just the music sucks. I mean, I buy my uh, I buy my music uh, like that here. Um, it's you know, it's where the where it wants to go today. Um, I think Nintendo um, should. Yeah, a toy is fine, but I want I want a new real Metroid Prime game. Um, Sony, make backwards compatibility. I mean, folks, the PS4 can emulate a PS1 or a PS2. Um, Microsoft has demonstrated this. Sony's um, is kind of the same architecture, the same x86. Why don't you, and many people have, um, and it's like Sony, if, it, if it's so hard, you say it's so hard, then why are people um, emulating your system without any problems? Um, that is what it is right now. As far as me gaming, um, I'm not done yet, but I'm on the edge now. Um, I'm certain uh, EA, you struck out. I ain't buying more of your games for quite a while until you demonstrate that you are a honest company. Uh, Ubisoft has nothing. Um, start, start, you know, being more innovative. Ubisoft. I mean. Make some, I mean, I'm not, uh, you need to start more being more innovative instead of making all that Assassin's Creed. Um, Square Enix, I want nine. That's what I want from you. And um, so, that is me. Um, that's where I pretty much stand for right now. Um, and I also think that Nintendo needs to just do a complete change up on their staff now because I mean um, Reggie needs to go um, hopefully we'll get someone better um, and get the games better and um, that's it uh, this is me JD out